Well, how they do they? And welcome back to the channel. And you, once again, you find me back in, in the Lake District. Can't keep away from the place. <laughs> and for one reason, it's goddamn beautiful around here. But just walking past Bleed Town there, walking up towards Side Pike. Not going up Side Pike, going to the bottom, oh, just around here on Lingmore. Obviously, wondering if the heather's out. Previous blog, did a bit of searching on the bottom end for some old buildings. The heather looked to be out at that end, so we'll see what it is at this end anyway. But yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a, a bit of a climb up. So, you know me, I don't walk and talk when walking uphill. <laughs> so, I'll see you when I get to the Great Wall of Langdale. Obviously, that, that blog you saw last time called The Wall when me and Dad's weight came up and did it. So, not doing the foolish again. Might take a shot as I'm going past, but I haven't come for that image. So, when I get to the top anyway, I'll bobby back on. Go peeps, the Great Wall of Langdale. <laughs> Obviously, you saw that on the one up here called the Wall. I'm going a bit further because that's not the composition for tonight. That's tomorrow morning's composition for sunrise. Hoping the sun will light all the Langdales up. So you'll probably see that one next week if I get up in the morning in time <laughs> and get up here. So that is a bit of a slog, is that? But yeah. I'm going to continue going further up and hopefully that's will be casting straight down the valley then by the time that happens so yeah, stay tuned and see when I get to the top. Right, I have quickly just taken a couple of shots walking up so I'll bob them on now for you all because there's some sun rays coming down <laughs> so I just had to do it. So a quick turn now and get the camera out and get down low just try and get up the heather in the foreground just so it sets off a little bit. So I'll bob these up now for you. We're continuing just to go a little bit higher up there. And hopefully you see the light ray still coming down and all this will open up a bit the higher we get. So yeah, got a steep bit coming up. So you know what I'm going to say? I don't walk and talk going up there. So I'll see you when I get to the top. So my composition now. I am just getting this wall laid you down. It splits off to the left hand side, then onto side pike. It is very hazy at the minute, so I'm just gonna wait for that sun just to dip down at the back. But yeah, as you can see, it's very hazy indeed. We're hoping for a bit of um, some nice light rays, let's say. So we'll see what happens anyway. What I'll do, probably about a bit of time lapse up now for you. I'll get that going, and you can see you can see what happens anyway. Right, I have a few vertical shots going, basically just with this wall leading you off. Only cut only half a side pike and half of the um, Langdales, just so it gives you a bit of a, a bit more of an intimate shot. I have done the full sweep as well, just when the light rays were hitting in the background. As you can see, the sun is quite bright now. The clouds are starting to go, unfortunately, but we'll, we'll wait it out and see anyway. But I'll wait for it to dip as well, and it gets over the over the hillside over there and I'll, I'll try for that sun star. But yeah, so far, I must admit, I'm liking, I'm liking this Sony. So yeah, I'll put these up, few up anyway for the time being, as we wait for this sun to drop. I 
a few compositions now. A couple of vertical ones, just for this wall leading in, down to side pike, and then up to the Langdales. There has been some shafts of light coming down. You wouldn't have thought so now with the <laughs> that sun straight in my face. I've done a couple of horizontals as well. I've done the pano all the way across, but the light rays, if it's worked, I'll put the time locks on now, so I'll be rushing around a bit, and I'll put the images on as well. But yeah, the light rays were just, oh, fantastic. So I'm just waiting now for that sun just to crest, just behind, just slightly behind. I'll try and get that sun star coming through. It's gonna cast no light down here, obviously when the sun goes down, but I'm hoping some of these clouds just stay, stay around. So we'll see anyway. If not, the light rays will make it for me tonight. So I'm on the, with the Sony now. First proper shoot with the Sony, so. If you, and you've got any little hints and tips all that, because that menu system is <laughs> is massive. So yeah, put it put it below. Yeah, I've put the other the other layer on now because it has got a bit nippy. But I have just got the got the sun star as well. But it came out from behind that cloud. Put on F16. It showed a lovely sun star on this G lens. So yeah, another thumbs up for the Fuji. That's not the Fuji, the the Sony, because the Fuji had to crank it up to F22 to try and get that. But on the back of the camera, F, F16 seemed to be spot on with this. So anyway, that sun is starting to dip down now. So we are going to lose this light on the foreground. But it's all just a waiting game now. See what happens with that sky. There's one or two clouds kicking about, so... Fingers crossed. We'll see what happens. I've had a time lapse going as well, another one. So I'll bob that on for you. I'll bob that on with the sun star as well. The sun has just dipped down now over the back. We are starting to get a touch of orange. So did manage to get another sun star. It came just below the clouds and over, over the top. So yeah, that's another one in the bag. Took two versions, did a vertical and horizontal as well. So as I mentioned before, just waiting now to see if these, these clouds catch, but there's gonna be no light down here now whatsoever. You can just see in the distance, the sun's breaking over. But yeah, we'll just wait and see what happens. The moon's out as well. So yeah, and it has got a bit, a bit chilly in all handies. <laughs> so the images I've just got then, <coughs> I'll bob up now for you and we'll, we'll just wait and see what happens. It's all just a waiting game now. As you've just seen from that time lapse, it did fizzle out on us, I'm afraid. The final images I'll put up now for you. If you've enjoyed this, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. It's only a small channel, but we are trying to get up there. So yeah, and hopefully the plan for the next video you'll see after this one, will be down there by the Great Wall of Langdale, leading you up. Because that's the plan for sunrise in the morning, if I get out of bed. <laughs> so yeah. I'll see you again on the next one. I'll leave you with these final images.